is up everybody, this is General Spear here, welcome back to another episode of Civilization 6 as Norway. We are going to do a short episode today because I wanted to get this done before work, uh, which is in a little over half an hour, or actually not, not a little over half an hour, more like 40 minutes or so. But, we are back with, um, with this game. It's been a while since we played this, uh, last episode... I think we were going against the uh, the city states down here or, or whatever, uh, but we're not gonna have these um, these units for much longer, I do believe. Um, I would like to go down here and get Egypt. I don't think that's gonna be the case. However, I would like to get this city state and potentially um, take it out. I'm not sure. We might keep it, but in any case, um, we got some barbarians that are up here. Can we go ahead and fire on the target here? So we got a lot of things that I, I am still working out. I think this is... This is Cynthia. Um, They are not at war with us, which is good, but they have denounced us. So I, we need to worry about them, potentially. I have set up apparently a trade route between Toronto and uh, Christiansund, uh, which is really, really good. And then our we have a trade route almost established, I think, between uh, uh, Nidros and Bergen, our capital and our uh, city up here. And then we are going to establish another city out here for iron, uh, which is going to be really, really good. And then hopefully we'll be able to establish a city down here for like truffles, ivory, tobacco. This will basically be kind of our, our fun city down here. But in order to do that, we got a bunch of stuff and things that we need to, you know, produce. Currently right now we're building a harbor in Nidros. Uh, we have the pyramids currently being worked on in Bergen. I don't know if we're going to get those or not. It'd be fantastic if we did. And then in Christensen we're working on a granary, which is really, really awesome. So that's pretty much what I remember as far as things go. We might take out um, Mahanjadaro. Possibly. I mean, they are helping out with culture. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We will definitely see. <laughs> uh, I'm already talking about taking out city-states. But in any case, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus probably on getting a city over here on the coast uh, with this um, cliff face here. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, we also have iron deposits here. That's going to be awesome. We might reach these horses. One, two, three. No, we're not going to reach those horses. And besides which, Mahanjadoro already has those. So that's another reason why we might want to consider taking them out. We also have Egypt over here in our back door. And then we also have um, Lebanon, I believe it is. No, just Lisbon. It's another city-state, which is over here. Uh, they are specialized in trade, which is actually not bad. Um, so yeah, that's the that's what we have going on. I think at the moment I'm just in the mode of kind of just defend and protect as needed. We don't really need these guys anymore because I think... There was a city state here. It's been a, such a long time, I don't remember what it was. But yeah, that does sound familiar. In any case, um, we're going to put a city here. It might have been the fact that we were at war with Egypt. No, they are neutral. So we weren't at war with them, and we, we would not have would not have done that. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, so the, uh, the Brazil is here. They are our f declared friends in this, which is really good. Um, and also, um, the Roman Empire, which is also in this game, uh, are, we are also declared friends. So, we're, we're making, we're making good progress here as the, uh, as the Norwegians, uh, the Thunderbolts of the North, basically. So, a unit needs orders. Oh, that's right. Um, Christensen, what do you need? So, you have two buildings. You don't have any religi religious citizens as of yet. You need two, you have two amenities and your housing capacity is at uh, three out of five. So you're growing. I 
think let's go ahead and go up here if we can to the horses. And get those as strategic resources next. Uh, these archers are just going to move into, say... Um, I guess up here. We have kind of archers up here. Kind of defending the city. Uh, we'll take these warriors... How many of these guys do we have down here? We have quite a few timed individuals, so we're gonna we're not gonna have anybody in the south uh, for a bit. So we're gonna move this um, Norwegian warrior or Norway warrior down to kind of defend, and we'll send this guy along too. Um, and that means that these that this warrior here is the only warrior up here uh, near Christensen that can really help defend if if. Cynthia decides to attack. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Alright. Production, though, we... Um, I'm gonna pause here for just a second, ladies and gentlemen. I have uh, something I gotta go, go do, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Just had to say, uh... Say hello, goodbye to a friend that's been staying with us for a while while she's been out of school. But we are back. So, yeah, we are continuing on. Let's go ahead and actually just proceed with the next turn. Uh, because there's not really much to do. Um, we are doing mathematics and military training as our two resource stuff. Holy crap, we got some stuff going on. Okay, so New City State Quest. Recruit a great writer. Oh, because we have met the city-state of, uh, La Vencia. Interesting. Very cool, cool. And we got, actually, multiple city-state requests. Hold on. So, they require a great rider, which we do not have. Uh, Hunter Daro. City-state is giving you a new quest. Trigger an inspiration for medieval fairs. Oh, okay. Uh, Lisbon. Or, Lisbon, excuse me. Has given you a quest. Train a berserker. Well, we plan to trade a few Berserkers, so that's good. And then, um, Toronto asks for us to train a crossbowman. It's quite a few different things, so we're not gonna worry about too many of those. And then we got a tribe that we can go get, hopefully. Um, maybe we can send our warrior up that way. It'll take a few turns, hopefully nobody will get it. The Toronto units might get there before me. Take these archers and move these guys to here, and we'll move these guys into the city. So there's at least three archers that are defending, um, that are defending uh, Christensen. And then we're going to send this builder into this uh, horse area and build some horses. And up our production a little bit, which is really, really good. I kind of want that. Alright, I actually want to go into the um, technology tree here real quick. We got a bunch of tech already, which is really awesome. Um, currently, right now, we have mathematics, and then we're going to go into shipbuilding, which is actually going to be really good. I, we already have the um, uh, the boost for that, which is own two galleys, which we have. Uh, next, after that, I think I want to go into... Probably machinery. Let's go, into, let's go into machinery, and then I want to go into construction to build siege towers. And then after that, it'll be... Uh, I kind of want berserkers as well. Actually, let's let's change this up. So we've got mathematics. Uh, I don't need ship building right away. There's not too many things. I mean, it allows land use to embark. That could be useful. So I think it was what we're going to do. We're going to do mathematics, then we'll do uh, military tactics, then machinery. So we get ber both berserkers, pikemen, and crossbowmen. Then we'll go into shipbuilding and construction and apprenticeship. That's how that will happen. All right. We got our, our turns laid out for the next little bit. All right. So um, let's go ahead and end the turn again. Probably going to lose these guys very, very soon. Seven turns remaining. So, yeah. Pretty soon. There's not really much we can do with them unless we want to take out Mahanjadaro, which we could. We actually got several of them. We could do that. I have talked about that quite a bit. 
Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Alright, so we have mathematics completed. We have the Wonder Petra open to us to build. I actually don't remember if it's built or not. I don't think it is. Well, I say that and it might be. And then movement for all naval units increases by one, which is really awesome. Military tactics is already underway. Alright, let's go into production. Um... What do I want to build in Nidoros? No suitable location for these. <laughs> of course. Of freaking course. Um, well... I mean... We might as well just keep going with this stuff. Um, either we could build a lighthouse or an aqueduct. I'm kind of inclined to build a aqueduct. Yeah, it's going to remove the reinforcement, unfortunately, but that will do. You know what? Since I already am, am talking about this, we have six turns left on this. Let's, um... Let's, let's go ahead and, and begin working on this city-state down here. I can't believe I'm saying that. I really can't believe it. This guy will just, you know, fortify there for right now. And, uh, is the village still up there? It looks like it still is. Four turns to get there. Alright, Christensen, let's send this builder to there. It's got one build move left. Let's build a farm. Oh, and this, uh, unit. Let's go ahead and get these scuts out of the way. There we go. Three XP for you, and just fortify, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and uh, end the turn. Yeah, still can't believe I said that we're gonna try to take out my hundred arrow. We're not gonna take out this episode because reasons. Um. <laughs> well, guys, are you sure you cannot believe in nothing? Come on, show your people the light. Well, we're gonna build the stave church eventually. Okay. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, actually, do I have an established religion? I have a pantheon. Yeah, I don't... I don't have... I don't have a religion just yet. Only two out of the six, so we do have a chance of getting a religion. But we don't have that. Neros needs food. Oh, goody. Probably with that lighthouse being out of the way. Whoops. Um, <laughs> alright, well, let's, let's go ahead and move these archers in. This is going to be a little ridiculous. Just sort of, kind of. How much time do I have on these? Five. Oh, great. You know what I really hope? I really hope that when I lose these uh, archers, they don't fight for Mahanjadaro, because that would be... Not good. That would be... Oh, so fantastic if that were to happen. Which, that could very well happen. Alright, just fortify. Fortify. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do this for a few more minutes, guys. Um, because I am on a time crunch at the moment. I wanted to get this done and out to you. Um, I will have a longer episode ready for Thursday, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just fortify there. Choose production. Where? Oh, in Christensen. Oh, um, maybe an entertainment district, possibly? I don't really know. Holy sight. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I know where we're putting it. I know exactly where we're putting it. We're putting it right there. We're going to get five faith. That's really good. And then send an envoy. Um, 
Where do I want to send it to? Let's send it to Hong Kong. That will help us... Actually, no, Toronto. I take it back. We're already getting production with Toronto, so... Front placement. Um... Yeah. You need turns. Um... Uh... Heavy penalties. Mm, do I want to do this? Nah, I think I'll just leave him alone. I I think I'm just gonna leave him alone. I'll I'll, I'll get probably Mah Mahanjadaro later, but I think this is this is a risk that because I, I I don't know if I'm gonna lose these archers to them. And, or not, and if I do, that's going to be a big mistake on my part. A pretty big one. So I'm just going to, you know, kind of just leave them there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to leave them there. They can, they can have their archers back at this point. Uh, because, I mean, that, that, <sighs> would I like to attack that city? Of course. And of course, if I do attack, do they get their archers back in that turn. I, I don't want to run that risk with having so so few units down here. I, I, I think I'm just going to focus on development and everything. So I'm going to get working on a, a placement for a city over here, get this iron, and all will be well. I think that's going to be the way I go about doing it. Have a few more turns though for military tactics uh, and also military training. Which is good. Could build an encampment to get that boost, but it's worth three turns out. It's not, not, not too much of a worry. Just fortify, and uh, actually, no, I don't want to sleep, heal. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Do the next turn. And, uh, we have a tech boost, apparently? Oh, because we got the, the village thing over here. Oh! Very cool. Alright, construction has... Oh, we've considerably advanced construction. Very, very cool, okay. So, we need more housing in Nidros and Bergen. Housing will happen because of the aqueduct. That'll happen in a turn, so that's not to worry. Um, Nidros, you're actually doing fairly well as far as the pyramids go. I know that they've been working on it for several turns. I hope we get it. Um, let's bring these warriors back to Christensen to kind of help defend in case of uh, uh, Scythia. Not that one. Or, excuse me, Scythia. Not Scythia, but Scythia. Um, so we're going to do that. Yeah, they've, they're all returned. Look at that. All right, so let's end the turn. And I think I'm going to end the episode on this note of we've built the aqueduct. Not really a whole lot this, this particular episode, but I did want to get this done and out there. What are they doing? I will say, they have a bunch of military units. I wish I could purchase a few from them. That would be amazing. Maybe I can. Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a... Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. All right, we have military training. Uh, there's not really a whole lot that I can do at the moment. Um, one plus production in all cities. Maybe I go with uh, trade routes here. Yeah, I think we'll set that as our policy. Get a little bit of extra gold per turn. Production! Um, Nidros, now that we actually have housing, let's go ahead and go for the lighthouse. And send an envoy. Let's say go to Toronto. That way we can uh, 
really get production. Which is going to be great. We, all just, we still have seven turns to go in the beer mitts. Great. That's great. Alright. I don't know what else to do. But anyways, guys. I'm actually going to end the episode right here. We're going to definitely have a longer episode next time. I just want to get this out done quick. Um... But yeah, a little bit of Civilization 6 action. We're going to hopefully, depending on what happens here in Nidoros, we're going to get a settler going to, so that we can establish a city over here. Um, and I also want to explore more of the map uh, and really see what was, what's going on. I want to explore more in here. We got definitely something over here. I think this is one of Egypt's cities, potentially. Or it might be a new civilization altogether. I don't know. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, may the force be ever in your favor.